Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about linear discriminant analysis using our software. As all of you know that linear discriminant analysis is used for dimensional reduction to reduce the number of dimensions or variables in our uh, dataset while keeping or retaining as much information as possible. So basically, it helps us to find the linear combination of our original variable that provide the best possible separation among the groups. And uh, as all of you know that uh, the linear discriminant analysis is supervised dimensional reduction technique that also achieve a classification, uh, a classification of uh, data at the same time. And this means that the LDA or the linear discriminant analysis focuses on finding a future subspace that maximizes separat uh, separability between uh, the groups. And uh, it, is, it is similar to the concept of the principal component analysis. Yes, principal component analysis reduce dimension, but uh, principal component analysis is unsupervised dimensionality reduction technique, but it is completely ignore the group or the class uh, level. That means the principal component focuses only on capturing the direction of maximum variation that found in our data set. So by this way, we can differentiate the linear discriminant analysis. Linear discriminant analysis is mainly focuses on what? On focuses on the, uh, it, all, it helps us to maximize the separability among the groups, while the PCA is, uh, focuses on, on, on what? On maximizing of what variation in our uh, data set. So this is the concept for the uh, linear discriminant analysis, as well as the their difference um, with that of the principal component. So in order to carry out the linear discriminant analysis, I suggest you to incorporate all this package in our software and in order to uh, especially the gg ord uh, package is not easily incorporated into your package so you have to use this syntax first you have to submit this first then again uh, run this one unless otherwise it will not work easily for you so you have to follow uh, to uh, incorporate this uh, code in order to load the gg ord package uh, then after all, again, also don't forget to provide uh, this package or to submit this package. And the first step in uh, calculating or in performing or in computing the linear discriminant analysis is using scaling. As all of you know, the scaling is uh, mostly uh, used for what standardizing of our data. That means uh, our mean value is equal to zero and standard deviation to have what? One. So in order to scale, you have to use a function scale. So let's import um, our data. Our data is in form of what? Maybe it's in form, form of Excel. Yeah, it's found the desktop. Mm, then, yeah, yeah, let's import it. Mm. So this is my data. Is uh, a biomass yield, the grain yield, uh, the straw yield, the thousand silhouette, and here also the variety or the group. So let's scale uh, by using this function. Why I'm selecting the first four columns is, as you can see here, we have five, uh, totally we have uh, five uh, columns, but the last column is not, uh, it's continuous, so we disregard the last column and do for the rest uh, column. So we will scale only the first four columns, so we're already scaling. If you want just to observe uh, our data, yeah. As you can see here, it is zero and one, zero and one. Yeah. In this way, you can uh, perform. Then let's separate our data uh, set into the training as well as the test. So the training will help to build our model, and the remaining, that means uh, the test will help us to predict our model. So in order to do that, you have to uh, go for this syntax, and uh, you have to indicate A means it's our data name, and the probability here is 75% of our uh, observation, or 75% of our data set will, hel will be uh, help to build the model, and we can assign for training, and the remaining 25% will be for what? For test. So type this and submit to our studio, then again, 
the train is what? It's obviously uh, the training set is uh, 75%. So type this syntax and the rest will be test. So 25% will be that one. And, and again, now let's fit our model. The, in order to fit or to compute the linear discriminant analysis, you have to use a function LEDA, which is built in the mass package. So you can assign any name that you want. Then the var means the group. That means here is the variety. Here is the short form of variety is var. For you, is maybe different. Then this is explained by what train. Train means 75% of our data set. Help us to build our what our model. The remaining will be what for the prediction. So type this and let's view our model. So as you can see here, here is a model, and the period probability of the group is 31% of the group belong to added. Again, 31.89% uh, of the group is uh, belong to Dagen, and the remaining 37.06 is belongs to uh, Howe. Then here is the group means and the coefficient of linear discriminants. For example, if you want to calculate the LED1, so you have to type here is simply LED1, which is equal to 0. Point is negative. So um, it is negative 0 0.77 times by again since the value of gy also is what negative so negative 0 0.77 then the remaining straw yield in the tsw sy standards for straw yield tsw or thousand seed weight they are plus so uh, plus uh, 3.95 times of what the straw yield then lastly plus uh, thousand seed weight or the TSW is equal to 2.22 so uh, plus 2.22 times thousand uh, seed weight. Similarly, uh, uh, this is what is minus what minus uh, point um, minus point seven seven times um, by again minus uh, minus point seven four nine then times or you can leave it times what gy then plus uh, 3.95 then times i'm oh, sorry and times uh, sy plus 2.22 then times what tsw so this is the equation for the led one and again you can continue for led2 which is uh, 0 0.13 uh, times by plus uh, actually it's not plus there is minus so 0 0.135 uh, times by minus 1.1 times gy uh, then plus it, since it's positive so uh, 0 0.74 times sy and minus 1.57 times uh, tsw so by this way we can set uh, our uh, equations then the proportion of the trace is the LED1 or the linear discriminant component 1 uh, uh, contain uh, 0 0.99 or that means 99.41% fail in the LED1 but the remaining uh, point that means 0 0.005 uh, for LD or the, the linear discriminant 2. So uh, then again, if you want to make a prediction on the test data, so you have to use this one, type this and submit to uh, our studio. Let's clear this one. Ah, let's clear this one. So if you want to see the predict one, you have to assign a name that you want here. Then mm, you have to use a function, uh, predict, again, the model, then the test. The test is helps for what? For testing of our of what our uh, our data set or our model. Then again, uh, let's see the predicted classes. The predicted classes is just type the uh, type this one. The class is obvious. We have different uh, four variables. Yeah, four variables. Uh, that means the how we sorry the how we the added and the diagram. Yeah. So the class are Dagen, 
then uh, the added and the how we have a variety will be in the class. The posterior is it is obvious, it is uh, predicted, and the x is the linear determinants. We have two linear determinants, that means LED1 and LED2. So uh, let's print the linear determinants. Simply use this function and it will uh, show you the linear determinants for our observation. Yes. Again, you can also uh, continue to get the, if you want, for example, if you want the class, just uh, type the uh, print, print, then uh, predicted, yeah, uh, predicted, this one, then the class. So obviously our three uh, groups, how we add it and uh, dark. Then let's find the posterior probabilities. So you can type this and you can get the posterior probabilities for the uh, three groups. Then after, uh, let's uh, check or let's find our model accuracy. In order to do that, you have to use mean is equal to the predictor class is equal to then the test. Then uh, using the dollar sign, attach the variety or the groups. So if you type this and you'll get the uh, accuracy of your model. So according to our result, here is 97 point, uh, the accuracy is high, yeah, it's 97.05, it's, it's excellent uh, accuracy since it is uh, approximate 200, yeah. Then finally, let's uh, visualize um, using the GTO function. I assigned here is A is equal to, then the function that I'm going to visualize the linear discriminant result is the GTO. The model is what we created before, it is a linear the discriminant analysis. Here is the model that represents all this one. Then again, I I also used here the group. The group is obvious. We have three groups, uh, as means the TF groups, how we add it and a diagonal. Then also I limit the y-axis to negative five and five, and uh, the size of the variable is equal to one and repel means if there is text overlapping so if it's, if you set it to true it will help you to get rid of text overlap if it is um, provides false it will not uh, it will affect or it will keep the text overlapping as it is and the text that means the name of the variables or maybe uh, then the point that means the observation point it will increase, for example, if you want to uh, want to adjust to 6, 7, 8, so the dot point will be become um, larger and larger. And the group title, I used here is the varieties, and maybe it's different for you, so you can assign uh, that to yourself. So type this and submit to our studio, then the right, okay, let's see it first. Yeah, as you can see here, the linear discriminant uh, one is 99.41, the remaining is 0 0.59 is for linear discriminant two, and the uh, three groups are differently separated, as you can see here, uh, and there is uh, overlapping between uh, this color is added, and the green color is diagonal. There is overlapping between uh, date and uh, diagram uh, TF, but there is a clear difference uh, in how we variety as compared to update and uh, diagram variety. And the biomass yield as well as the grain yield is further for how we varieties as the arrow are goes to this direction, while the thousand seed weight as well as the straw yield are more. Uh, are more are close or further for 
update and target varieties. So by this way, you can display your linear discriminant analysis in a graphical approach. Yeah. Let's further uh, eliminate uh, grids. Yeah. Yeah. So by this way, you can uh, display or you can also add anything x axis, y axis, even also the main plot uh, title. So, this is all about regarding to linear discriminant analysis using our software. So, as usual, don't forget to provide your valuable suggestion, uh, uh, comment, or uh, questions through my email as well as YouTube comment box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.